So I guess that says in Chicago, the economy's not any better here than the rest of the We just like to spend money. <laughs> yeah, right. We're Show helping the, the economy. There you go. <laughs> It is 514 traffic and weather together. We start yes. with Megan and we start off with dry conditions. We may end up that way today, but not so tomorrow. So mm. kind of giving you a heads up for your election day forecast. You will want an umbrella on your Tuesday on election day because showers are not storms, but just regular old rain is going to be something we'll have to contend with tomorrow. Today, really, it's wow, it's cold. Temperatures are totally struggling this morning. It's just 41 degrees at Midway, and that's the warmest spot by more than 20 degrees compared to Aurora coming in at just 20. It's 25 degrees Joliet, 26 Kankakee, 29 for DeKalb, about 35 degrees for Waukegan. So it is clearly a cold start out there. You can see this massive rain back from uh, St. Louis to Kansas City. This is really going to track to the south of us, so we don't get a taste of that. Our rain today would come courtesy of the winds wrapping around a high pressure system that sits north of the Great Lakes. So those winds coming in from the east and northeast are actually going to mean a few scattered lake effect showers of a very light variety, probably just sprinkles. Our next weather system is actually coming from Canada, so it's going to drop on down. A little quick moving system here brings showers and breezy conditions to us just in time for election day. For today, 46 degrees, partly sunny with some sprinkles out there. We'll drop down into the low 30s again overnight tonight. And frankly, guys, that's the situation pretty much through a good majority of this work week. But take a look at what happens going into the weekend. We will see temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s, so that'll be nice for your Saturday and Sunday, but that's a ways off, D. Yeah, you don't hear that very often, huh? <laughs> Free tats for pennying my floor. Uh, also, what you don't hear very often, I'm almost done. I, I don't know how much more of this I can eat. I'm going to try, though, because Derek's uh, told me I can't. Yeah, so I therefore, I will. I tear the edges off of my bread. Megan eats a whole loaf. We'll talk about it a little bit later. We'll talk about your traffic conditions because I, I think you like coming up. So no Atkins for me. <laughs> she really loves it. <laughs> really, really, really loves it. And parents, you may want to consider turning the TV off at dinner time. That's kind of a no-brainer, right? I think so. Yeah, you'd think if you want to talk, turn the TV off. Right. Yeah. Except this morning, because you should really talk to us <laughs> while you're eating yeah. breakfast. Breakfast, all the breakfast time. not dinner. That's <laughs> no. the key. Well, oh, uh, you eat dinner after Rob and Kate are done and the, 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 Bill right. and Walter. Then you're okay. You should eat dinner well before 10. Uh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. But right. I'm talking about 5, six Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, they do two newscasts, don't they? in Europe. Oh, oh boy, Chris. Uh, he's pennying someone's floor for tats. All right, we're talking about a cool weather trend. Uh, kind of continuing, guys, and that's going to be the case for a good majority of the week. We don't expect to see the 60s until the weekend, but they are on the horizon. It's going to be breezy and wet for your election day forecast. And then, like I mentioned, it's going to be warming up next weekend. We just have to wait through the entire week to get there. Yeah. When you work this schedule, you, you like <laughs> eat dinner when, with Harry and Roseanne, don't you? I, I mean, eat kinda, you, you know. breakfast. I, know, is I have breakfast at about 8.30. Right. I have lots of bread, That's too. That's late. Lots of bread. Lots of bread. <laughs> Occasionally more than a lot. There you go. I'm going? getting full, hey, by the way. People got out late. They're okay because the traffic conditions are really good. But first, traffic and weather together. We start with meteorologist Megan Gleros. We start with dry conditions today, but we are going to find cold temperatures. We've got some locations down in the low 20s. We'll talk about that coming up. want to show you the radar picture, though. You can see the rain lurking out to the west. That's not going to be a factor for us today. Believe it or not, that will all head south of us. So for us, we stay basically dry. Dry. There is, however, another system gaining steam up in Canada that will swoop down for Election Day. It'll be slightly milder with a high of 50, but breezy and wet at times tomorrow. A southwesterly wind anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles an hour. 534. Maybe we'll still be given election results Wednesday, Wednesday morning. morning. You right. never know. Those last ones that come in, it's going to be tight in a lot of places. 534, traffic and weather together. Megan, what do you think? It's going to be a nail biter. I know. As tight as some of the polls are, we may still be counting this time next week. Right. <laughs> Potentially, yeah. right? Looking at temperatures right now, 41 degrees at Midway, 37 for Gary and O'Hare, just 20 for Aurora, 25 Joliet, 26 degrees for Kankakee. So it's cold, especially out to the west and to the south of the city. And those are the very same locations that have a bit of fog being reported this morning, too. So visibility may be reduced there. Otherwise, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds on this Monday, maybe a few very, very, very light sprinkles coming in off the lake today. That's something just to kind of watch for. But really what we're waiting for is the rain that you'll see kind of lurking on the horizon early part of the day tomorrow. And so we do have a chance of showers pushing in for our election day. Not something you want to hear because I know a lot of people want to get out the boat tomorrow, but 
You just need to bring your umbrella with you because you may need it. And there's a new way to fight tollway violations. It should save you some time and maybe some gas, too. Oh, well, that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? All right, guys, we're talking about uh, needing the umbrella for Election Day. That's something we'll discuss in detail. Plus, we'll tell you what to expect today and through the week in just a bit. You know where it's hard to avoid it is on Facebook, where everybody yeah. and their brother is posting vote for this person or vote for that person right. or angry, angry comments. We yeah. see enough angry commercials. We don't need to see that on social media, <laughs> right? It's way more than 33.3 repeated yeah. percent. I agree. On, on social media, people, I think, tell right. us what you think. Yeah, because know. it seems like people feel okay to raise their voice, their opinion on social I've media. I've seen several status <laughs> updates from friends saying they're not looking at it until after the week of the election. Yeah. They just don't want to hear the up to or the gloating thereafter. Exactly. You know, yeah. so yeah, it just, yeah, it's what you say, but yeah. at work. You never know. All right, guys, we're talking about a forecast today that is cold in spots 20 Aurora, 29 DeKalb, 35 Waukegan, about 37 for Gary and for O'Hare. It's 41 at Midway, and that's kind of like the warm spot this morning. Nice little pocket of clear air, clear skies over the city of Chicago right now, but then a little bit of cloud cover inching in. What you need to know about today is that you may see a little bit of lake effect sprinkle action. I'm not calling it like rain or heavy rain, just a few sprinkles coming in on the breeze that wraps around a high pressure center just north of the Great Lakes. So that's going to push in a possibility of a few very light showers. There's that system down to the south and west of us. That's not our next weather maker. Looks like it. But watch what happens here as we move through time. This baby stays to the south. This one from Canada comes in and that's going to bring about your possibility of showers and your breezy conditions for tomorrow. Talk about breeze and showers and snow and possible coastal flooding in a very bad spot. There is a nor'easter forming right along the coastline of the northeast that very sandy hit area so wednesday thursday and friday of this week that's where we're watching for the next east coast storm certainly something that they don't need for today here at home 46 degrees partly sunny with some sprinkles out there going into tonight 34 cold night partly cloudy and then uh, check this out guys seven day forecast shows you that we'll hit 50 for election day but it's going to be a rainy election day and 48 degrees for a Wednesday we do climb up to the low 60s just in time for the weekend Derek that'll be a nice little treat on Saturday from there there are oral appliances which have uh, uh, come into uh, play more and more so, and perhaps that's one of the reasons that we're seeing uh, more of an awareness because it's a more readily available treatment. The word oral appliance. That was Harvey, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Just stepped into the show. Harvey. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Harvey, Harvey's doing well. Gangnam style yes. with Sai himself. That is next. Harvey's arm is coming in. I'm literally going like this a second ago. What? what? I don't know what our deal is. It's Monday, the Monday before Election Day. And we'll talk about your forecast for tomorrow coming up. And may the force be with you on the expressways and tollways. <laughs> we'll look at your commute real soon. All new episodes of Laugh Out Loud <laughs> Comedy on prime time tonight. Start with... <laughs> the, the, yeah, the door's right there to the left, yeah. Dr. We, Gordy's lost in the studio. We're trying hey, to mental confusion uh, must go I'm along there? with this virus well, that's going around. Uh, let's see. Partners, <laughs> two broke girls, Mike and Molly, then head to uh, Beach with Hawaii 5 at 9. That's followed by this, this two news at 10 o'clock. We're back. We're going to regroup right after this, I promise. <laughs>